You don't graduate every day, so your Victoria graduation ceremony might be the first time you've worn academic dress. This video should help you figure things out. First off, your gown. This part is pretty straightforward. The thing to remember is to put your arms through the slits in the sleeves. Depending on the qualification you're graduating with, you will either have a hood or a stole. The hood is often what confuses people, so let's start there. Your hood goes over your head with the flat coloured oblong panel against your back. It's a hood, not a cape, so it hangs directly back rather than spread out on your shoulders. Have someone help you position the hood by lifting the corner, placing down against your back and folding over the tip. If you're wearing a tie, you have a built-in system to keep it in place. If not, then you may need to pin it to your robe. A pin on each side should be all you need. Just make sure you pin through the neck strap of the hood and not through the satin. If you have a stole, it sits around your neck and hangs down the front of your gown. If you're graduating with a PhD, you'll have a Knox bonnet. Everyone else has a trencher. You will enter the auditorium without anything on your head and will be told when to put it on. The trencher sits flat on your head with the short peak at the front and the long peak at the back. The tassel can be on either side, but when you're crossing the stage it needs to be on your right hand side so it doesn't hide your face. For PhDs there is a seam in the band of your Knox bonnet which goes at the back of your head. If you have cultural garments such as a korowai or ta'ovala, you are welcome and encouraged to wear them. They go over your gown but under your hood or stole. If you're still not 100%, don't worry. There'll be plenty of Victoria volunteers there to help make sure you cross the stage looking your best.